Good evening. If you're visiting with us, you truly are our honored guest, and hang around after services so we might get to meet you. Uh, tonight, I want to go maybe a different route than just three-point typical lesson. I kind of want to do maybe more of a reflective thought. And with that being said, if you will, open your Bibles to Matthew chapter 25. While you're doing that, we'll say uh, there was a guy who wanted to become a mountain climber. Or become a mountain climber. So he goes out and he buys all the stuff he needs, rope, helmets, you know, best shoes, uh, whatever, you, whatever you can imagine, he buys. He buys top line, does all you can do. So as he goes out, he, he gets all the stuff together. He goes out and he finds a big, just big mountain. He starts, starts going up it. Soon, you know, he gets a long ways away up the mountain, and he starts becoming tired, and grows, he grows weak, gets more and more tired the further as he goes. And he soon, eventually, he just he can't go anymore, cannot go anymore. He, uh, his body finally gives out. He just, that's all he can do. That's all it is. Mountain climber had gotten everything he needed or everything he thought that he needed, the best money could buy, but the mountain climber had done absolutely no physical training or anything before, he decided to go climb the biggest mountain he could find. He was not ready. He wasn't prepared. He was not ready for the task that he had set before him. One draw from the story is that we must that the, we see that Mount Climber was not ready for the test when he was not, and he was not ready for his test when he arrived. Uh, if we look into Matthew chapter tw- uh, chapter twenty five, uh, starting in verse one, it'll be pretty lengthy reading, but just bear with me. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flask of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here's the bridegroom, come out and meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough oil for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going out to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. Afterward, the other ten verses come also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you neither know the day nor the hour. What is this passage? The passage tells us that we must be prepared or always be ready. Always be ready. We must be ready for his returning because it can happen at any moment. And when it's too late, it is too late. And as scripture says in Matthew 24, but cons- uh, starting in verse 36, But concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. For as were the days of Noah, so it will be the coming of the Son of Man. In the passages leading up to verse 36 of chapter 24, the disciples have asked Jesus to let them know what his second coming will be, what are the signs of the second coming, when will it happen. He explains to them that no one will know, not even he doesn't even know, that when it will be, only God knows. Only God knows when he will come back. So always, what we draw from that is that we always must be prepared, always be ready for when the Lord comes back, for when Jesus comes back for his second coming. If you're here tonight and you have not been baptized, or if you have been baptized, you may be stumbling or have stumbled back and caused you to not be ready for when the Lord comes. Come back tonight as we stand and sing an invitation song. <laughs>